for vanity. Soon we'll have enough nuts for the winter. And I just love nuts. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Here's this special nut just for you, Grady. Gee, thanks. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Very funny. What was that? I don't know. E flat? It sounded like a horn. <gasps> humans! Hmm, that's odd. What would humans be doing in this part of the forest? Baby! Hey! Help! Yikes! <laughs> Yow! Oh, Papa Smurf, what a mess! Did you see the size of that snake? <laughs> We've got it now, lads. Follow me. Is every Smurf all right? Papa Smurf, why are those humans chasing that beautiful stag? I'm afraid they mean to kill it, Smurfette. Kill it? But why? Yeah, why? They are hunters. Oh, those horrible humans. Just who do they think they are? Well, one of them was King Gerard's second cousin, Malcolm the Mean. He is the greatest hunter in all the realm. Oh, that poor deer. We've got to save it, Papa Smurf. But how? I've got an idea. Smurf me up into the tree, Hefty. What are you going to do, Harmony? You'll see. My color's not too good. Oh, gee, I'm the same color as you, Vanity. Maybe I ought to lie down, too. Are you feeling better? Papa Smurf's small palm should help your foot a lot. And these goodies will help you keep up your strength. Greedy. 
Deer do not eat Smurf berry tarts. They are exclusively herbivorous, which means they can only digest a diet of leaves, twigs, flowers, or grass. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> he likes it. That's impossible. I just don't understand it. You know, Greedy, I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something kind of familiar about this deer. I cannot believe these worthless dogs let it get away. But Sir Malcolm, enough! Tomorrow we capture that black stag or by thunder. It's the dungeon. Yes, Sir Malcolm. Yes, Your Grace. Oh, I oh, begging your pardon, Sir Malcolm, but have you heard any word from King Gerard? No, Mrs. Sowerberry, I have not. Well, I know I shouldn't worry so, but it's just not like His Majesty to have left so sudden-like without even saying goodbye. There was great urgency, Mrs. Sowerberry. Affairs of state. Oh, well, you know, I'm so fond of his highness and that dear little clockwork smurf that whenever they're away, I just naturally feel that... Yes, yes, Mrs. Sowerberry, I quite understand. Now, I must retire, madam. The hunt resumes early tomorrow. Oh, uh, sleep well, your lordship. So, she misses you, dear cousin. <laughs> They call me Malcolm the Mean, you know. But what would they call me if they saw my latest trophy? <laughs> what a prize! <gasps> but my greatest prize is yet to come. The Black Stag. For when it is mine, I shall become king! Is that not true, dear cousin? With my magic amulet, I've turned you into a deer. And now your loyal subjects are hunting down their own king! <laughs> Poor King Gerard. After tomorrow's hunt, the throne will be mine. So until tomorrow, <laughs> dear cousin, pleasant dreams, wherever you are. <laughs> It's no use. I've got to get help before it's too late. Just as I thought. Harmony's tracks lead directly to King Gerard's castle. Then Harmony must be in there. Look, there he is. It's Harmony. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Harmony, are you all right? Oh, Papa Smurf, I'm so glad I found you. That mean Malcolm the Mean has captured Clockwork Smurf, and he's, he's going to do away with King Gerard. What? How do you know? He has a magic amulet, and he turned King Gerard into a deer, and he's going to try to catch him tomorrow. The stag! This must not be! If we can get that magic amulet, perhaps we can break the spell. <laughs> we'll smurf that amulet away from him! Yeah! He'll never know what smurfed him! Oh, uh, well, won't that be kind of dangerous? We must try, Harmony. It's King Gerard's only hope. And Clockworks, too! I guess you're right. Follow me! This way. Come on! Wow, what a strange place. I've never seen anything like it. The animals are so still. I'm afraid these are just stuffed animals, Hefty. What do we do now, Papa Smurf? First, we'll try to revive Clockwork. Then we'll find Malcolm's amulet. All right, now every Smurf lift on the count of three. One, two, three. Smurf! <laughs> Too bad Handy isn't here. He'd know just what to do. Hmm. Perhaps if I turn this switch... and I can get the amulet. <laughs> 
Leave it to us, Papa Smurf. <laughs> some rope, perhaps we could fish it out. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Gently now, my little Smurfs. That's the way. Well, 
Let's hope we don't run into any more unexpected surprises on the way home. Mrs. Sowerberry! Sir? Have you seen my amulet? Oh, 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 oh uh, no, Sir Malcolm. It's missing. Have the servant search every room in the castle immediately. Oh, oh yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> I must find that amulet. Without it, I could lose my power over Gerard. Well, have you found it? We've searched the castle from top to bottom, Sir Malcolm. And? Uh, your amulet is nowhere to be found. Then we must find the black stag without delay. Do not escape me today. Scissors. Now to see if the treatment was a success. Mr. Deer. Now you can go back to the forest. Whatever is he doing? Why, he's drawing a picture. It looks like a castle. But what does it mean? What are you trying to tell us? Wait! Don't run away! You're safe here! Hmm. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. As I was saying to Papa Smurf just the other day, it seems... Papa Smurf! And Clockwork! Oh, Clockwork, it's so good to see you! <coughs> Tell me, how are all your gears? <coughs> oh, that's fine, fine! My little Smurfs, there is not a moment to lose. We must find the black stag and bring it here to the village. But Papa Smurf had just left. What? That's right. It was hurt, so we brought it here and took care of it. Great Smurfs. That deer was King Gerard. King, King Gerard? Gerard? I knew there was something familiar about that deer. We must find the king before the hunters do. I'll stay here and try to find a way to break the spell. Leave no stone unturned, my little Smurfs. His life depends on it. Yes, Papa Smurf. Gerard! Uh, King Gerard? Clumsy, what are you doing? Well, uh, Pop Smurf said to leave no stone unturned. Oh. King Gerard! Hello! King Gerard! King Gerard! Hurry, Grouchy, we've got to keep looking. I hate looking. Where can he be? <laughs> Look! Wait! Come back! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! He's headed toward Free Air Gully! Come on! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> He's getting tired! for antler rust, open mouth, grazing neck. No, that's not right. But the black stag. 
I want him captured alive. Yes, yes your, your highness. highness. Thank you, dear friends. Once again, I owe you my life. If not for your kindness and the bravery of Harmony and my dear clockwork, I might have been just another prize for Malcolm to hang on his wall. And what will become of Malcolm now, Your Majesty? I shall restore him to normal only after he's captured. Perhaps my cousin will have learned a lesson after the dogs have snapped at his own heels for a while. Let's hear it for King Gerard! Hooray! 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 Now that's what I call cruelty to animals.